many times when I'm documenting wildlife in the field. The long working hours and the lack of rest result in unintentional human errors. The most common and the most costly of those errors is data loss. And that's exactly what happened to me when I was filming episodes 3 and 4 of Tiger Country. Stick around for the entire video and I'll show you how I recovered all of my 8K footage and raw photographs that were accidentally deleted in camera. Welcome back to the channel, my name is Kenneth Lawrence and this video is slightly different from what I normally post. I spent the first half of June in central India, documenting more of India's incredible biodiversity for my Tiger Country series. This time I used the Canon R5 to film wildlife in stunning 8K. These 8K visuals from India's jungles are the first to exist on YouTube in their original resolution. After one of my safaris, I accidentally deleted some of those files in camera before transferring all that data to my hard drive. But thanks to a data recovery software called Wondershare Recoverit, I managed to recover each and every deleted file. And I'm going to show you step by step how I did that so you don't run into any similar problems. For the purpose of demonstration, I transferred some of my favorite photographs and 8K footage back onto my CF Express memory card to delete and then recover. Moments like these from the wild are not easy to document on camera. You have to be at the right place at the right time and you need an immense amount of luck on top of that. Here's a sloth bear mother foraging for food with her young ones. And here's a tiger feeding on a spotted deer kill. This moment was photographed when it was looking straight through the deer's antlers and into my lens. Losing valuable imagery like this would be any photographer's nightmare. Not only is it expensive, but the chance of documenting those exact same moments are close to none. Before I transfer the imagery from my memory card to my hard drive, I normally protect the files that I want to keep and then I erase the rest of the images on the card. This step, although risky, is safer than formatting and it ensures that I don't transfer several unwanted photographs and videos that end up clogging my storage devices. There are five protected files on the card now. Let's go ahead and unprotect them. Finally, let's erase them as well.
to recover these deleted files, we are going to log on to recoverit.wondershare.com and download the application. Let's connect the CF Express memory card. As expected, it says 512 GB available and the folders don't have any data at all. Let's launch the recovered application. We've got the latest 10.5.3 version. Upon launching, you can see both my internal hard drives as well as the external drive, which is the empty CF Express memory card. Inside it is the intact DCIM folder of the root directory. Towards the left hand side, we have file path as well as file type. Under it, you can see the photos and videos that we previously erased in camera. Now that is a familiar view. The deleted photos and videos are all here as you can recognize with the video thumbnails. In the list view, the original file sizes are also noted. Let's select all the files and then recover them. There's the folder created on the desktop and recovering the selected 9 GB of files took less than 30 seconds. There are three additional files also recovered. Let's go through the important ones. Here's the tiger looking through the deer's antlers. And here's another one sent marking her territory. Recovering moments like these is an absolute lifesaver. The 8K videos, as you can see, are in their full resolution, with the file names also intact. Data loss is something that is becoming incredibly common and it's happened to me on multiple occasions. To reduce my risk to the bare minimum, I do not format my memory cards. But instead, I choose to lock the files I want and erase the rest in camera. A reliable data recovery software is a prerequisite for professional filmmakers and photographers as well as content creators. Especially when working with large profile clients. Lost data, as I mentioned earlier, is a very expensive mistake. To avoid instances like this, click on the recovery link in the description and choose any one of the listed subscriptions that best suits you. There's also a free version that helps you recover up to 100 MB. And whilst that sounds like a minuscule data size, it's very important to remember that crucial document files and scans may also need to be recovered if accidentally lost. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more wildlife content. I'll see you in episode 3 of Tiger Country.